Since the start of the fighting in the Kursk region, Ukrainian paratroopers have captured seven Russian tanks. Among them is the new Russian T-90M. This was reported by airborne assault troops of the armed forces of Ukraine. Soldiers of the 80th separate airborne assault Galician Brigade captured the newest T-90M, four T-80 BVM vehicles and two T-72 tanks. I always dreamed of capturing a Russian tank, said one of the Ukrainian paratroopers. The soldier, together with the SBU soldiers, managed to capture several new T-80 BVMs in the vicinity of the city of Sudza in the first days of fighting in the Kursk region. According to the tank officer of the Galician Brigade, the captured tanks will be a good addition and will strengthen the tank fist of the Lviv paratroopers in future battles with the Russians. The officer emphasized that some of the captured tanks have low mileage and have practically just come off the assembly line. The rest need repairs. Recall since August the 6th, the offensive operation of the defense forces in the Kursk region has been underway. As the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sirsky recently reported, Ukraine has taken control of a hundred settlements. Combat operations in the border areas continue. Recall a large proportion of Ukraine's military hardware is made up of captured and repurposed Russian equipment. The failure of Russian crews to destroy intact equipment before withdrawing or surrendering highlights their poor state of training and low levels of battle discipline. With Russian formations under severe strain in several sectors and increasingly demoralized troops, Russia will likely continue to lose heavy weaponry. On June the 27th, an exhibition of Russian weapons and military equipment destroyed and captured by the Ukrainian Defense Forces started in the German capital. It is called the Code of Invincibility, according to the press service of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The official opening of the exhibition in Berlin took place online. The exhibition informs the civil society of the European Union about Russia's open aggression against Ukraine. There are examples of Russian equipment and ammunition, Russian electronic warfare equipment, parts of ballistic missiles, UAVs, as well as reconnaissance and attack drones. These include the wreckage of a Shahed-136 and KH-101 cruise missile and a Kinzhal air-launched ballistic missile. The exhibits also include cluster munitions and anti-personnel mines.